I'm gonna do a short video and this video is about the Microsoft Database Fundamentals, the MTA Database Fundamentals Exam 98-364. Um, I took mine on Friday, this past Friday, and I'm excited, but um, I passed it with a 92. And I just wanted to give people some pointers on how I actually went about passing this uh, exam. I studied for this about five weeks. And when I say I studied, I probably studied almost every day um, for about five weeks. Now my method was a little unusual, but I'll share it with you anyway. Um, so I used several training um, methods. I used a lot of different training sources um, because I noticed that um, if it was a concept that I couldn't understand from one person, somebody else explained it better. And then I just got it. So since I worked that way, I've used several, several resources. One of the resources I used was the VT, I was at VT Training Center Online. I had somebody on YouTube say to use that. That was about, I'll say maybe 40% helpful to me. Um, it was, it, it helped, but most of my training really came from YouTube. Uh, I watched a four hour SQL Server video that pretty much taught, you know, SQL Server for, you know, for four hours. So I started with that video. Then I began to branch out into the uh, VT Training Center uh, and several other videos on YouTube. I'll link the ones that I used in the description below. A lot of these videos all, you know, well, I'll say all of these videos helped me to really get a good grasp of the concept. So I scheduled my exam for last Friday. I gave myself five weeks and I said I should be ready to take this exam in five weeks. So Friday comes and I'm still trying to cram. I'm still taking multiple choice, you know, still going over the multiple choice, um, you know, the test questions. Um, when I actually took the test, it was the process was very smooth. Um, I took it actually sitting right here, a very smooth process. Um, there is a proctor that watches you on the um, computer while you're actually taking the test. And I will say, when I when I first started the test, um, I was nervous. I was very very nervous, and a lot of them I didn't even know if I really had them correct. And the reason is because I didn't really know to, what to expect as far as how they would word the questions. And that's the big thing. Um, I can't really speak on too much because they do have you sign a disclosure about it. But I will just say this. Just pay attention. Um, don't be freaked out by how they word the questions. You know the answers. Just let me say, just let me say that. You already know the answers. So when they word it differently, it'll make you feel as though maybe I don't know this. You know the answer. Don't get freaked out by the way they present the exam. Let's, let's just put it that way. But um, I was so excited when I finished the exam, I'm thinking I'm like, okay, I don't even know if I really passed this exam. And when I saw the 92 on the screen, I was like, is, you know, is that mine? <laughs> I was surprised, but I actually studied really hard. I knew the content. I knew the concept really well. But, you know, like I said, the way things were presented, I wasn't sure. Um, I did go back over my answer. Good thing I finished enough time to go back over my um, answers and I kind of changed a couple of them. But believe me when I say you can definitely pass this exam because most of most of what I studied over those five weeks wasn't even on the exam. I think it was about 30 questions on there. So, you know, we're studying so much, you're studying so much material. And, you know, and out of that, just 30 questions are on the exam. So you're over preparing. I don't feel like I had to study as hard as I did, but because I've been out of the loop with IT for um, such a long time, that's why I actually went so hard. But like I said, whatever method works for you, just have a, have a plan of how you're gonna accomplish it. 
Um, I had a plan mapped out on who video I was going to watch and, you know, who was I going to move to next and what was I going to move to next. If I got to um, any concepts that I couldn't understand, I went straight to YouTube and found videos that explain that concept. Trust me, if it's a concept that you don't understand, go to YouTube. Somebody will explain it in a way that you understand it. Use your resources. And I found YouTube as the biggest resource possible. I really don't even think I needed to use anything but YouTube videos, and I think I would have passed um, the exam. But um, I think at certain point, there's a test exam that they allow you to download. You can use that. Um, Pearson's is where I took my exam. It was a very smooth and easy process. Let me tell you, if you are trying to get this, get this certification it is a very easy certification to get um, you can do it you can do it don't second guess yourself you know the answers to you know the answers to all, just about all of these if not all of these so if you study I'm not gonna say how long you need to study because some of you may have already been in IT so you probably have a good grasp of databases um, but just study. If you study, you're going to pass this exam. I think you need a score of 70% to pass. Study and go ahead and grab this easy certification so you can start grabbing the other. So I'm going to probably take the, um, well, I'm getting ready to get started on Microsoft Azure. Azure, I don't know how to pronounce it. But that's a good cloud-based um, training platform, and I think that's going to be the next thing to to be pretty big and these look really I'm telling you these certifications will look really good on your resume don't listen to anybody that say that they won't because it's all about how you present it not everybody has any kind of database certification on it because there are lots of people who who know databases really well and just didn't bother to get the certification there because they just feel it it may be beneath them but if you get this certification, make sure you put it on your LinkedIn page, uh, definitely definitely your resume. Make sure it's at the top of your LinkedIn page and your heading so people can see that up front. Use these certifications to your advantage. So I'll say again, this is for the MTA, I'm looking on my screen here, the MTA Microsoft um, Technology Associate Database Fundamentals Exam 98-364. You can do this, guys, people. You can really, you can pass this. This is a really easy one to go ahead and snatch up. Um, for, I think it's a, it's $127, that's not much. And the next one I'm gonna take, which I stated, which is Microsoft Azure, it's only $99. So, you know, as long as you know the concepts, learn the concepts, don't memorize the answers from the exams know why you chose those answers. So one way that I learned how to um, really focus on the understanding of the concepts is I would talk myself through it at home and make sure that I was understanding why it's not this answer and why it is this answer. So if I knew the answer, I want to state why I know it's not the other two. That shows how well I'm understanding the concept. Uh, the, the material and the con uh, concepts. So that's a method that I would recommend to you when you're taking this. So go ahead and snatch this one up and, and be on your way to the, I'm sure the other exams are harder, but um, especially for those of you who have remained in the IT field, you can knock this, exam you can get this one done probably in way less time than I used. I used five weeks. If I was in, if I remained in the field of IT, I, I, I'm sure I wouldn't have needed five weeks. But um, they're coming out with a lot of other certifications. I don't see any more SQL Server certifications, which is what I wanted to kind of. I wanted to take another, get another certification in that before I went to Azure. But Microsoft Azure works with SQL Server, so I'm going to move in that direction with cloud-based um, products. So. Again, just buckle down. You can do it. Trust me, guys. All right? Peace.